She said, who would have said unto Abraham that Sarah should have given children suck? For I have borne him a son in his old age. And the child grew and was weaned. And Abraham made a great feast that same day that Isaac was weaned. And Sarah saw the son of Hagar, the Egyptian, which he had borne unto Abraham, mocking. Wherefore she said unto Abraham, Cast out this bondwoman and her son, for the son of this bondwoman shall not be heir with my son, even with Isaac. And the thing was very grievous in Abraham's sight because of his son. And God said unto Abraham, Let it not be grievous in thy sight because of the lad, and because of thy bondwoman. In all that Sarah hath said unto thee, hearken unto her voice. For in Isaac shall thy seed be called. And also of the son of the bondwoman will I make a nation, because he is thy seed. And Abraham rose up early in the morning, and took bread and a bottle of water, and gave it unto Hagar, putting it on her shoulder. And the child and sent her away, and she departed, and wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba. And the water that was spent, and the water was spent in the bottle, and she cast the child under one of the shrubs. And she went and sat down over against him a good way off, as it were a bow shot. For she said, Let me not see the death of the child. And she sat over against him and lift up her voice and wept. And God heard the voice of the lad, and the angel of God called to Hagar out of heaven, and said unto her, What aileth thee, Hagar? Fear not, for God hath heard the voice of the lad where he is. Arise, lift up the lad, and hold him in thine hand, for I will make of him a great nation. And God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water, and she went and filled the bottle with water and gave the lad a drink. And God was with the lad, and he grew and dwelt in the wilderness and became an archer. And he dwelt in the wilderness of Paran, and his mother took him a wife out of the land of Egypt. This is the word of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. It is a blessing to be here today. Yes. Let us prepare our hearts and minds for prayer. For God has been so good. Yes, he has. Heavenly Father, most gracious God, we thank you for this opportunity, Lord God. Your grace has placed us here. Your grace has kept us, led us, provided for us. Grateful we are this day, Lord God, for thou hast given us another opportunity to get it right, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for making us in thy image and in thy likeness that we may be just like you. For God, you are love and you fall no short or no less than the essence of yourself. You have no conditions towards that which you give unto us, but your grace just keeps on giving. Lord, I pray that everyone under the sound of my voice come to grow and and know the essence of who you are and how your love may manifest in them, Lord God, that we may love others that don't love us, others that beset us, others that persecute us, talk about us, hinder us. Lord God, I thank you for all those broken relationships, all those, those stresses and strife, those persecutions, Lord God. Thou has made me better and suitable for you that I might be able to know true love now. 
and how it was sent forth and brought forth from above. The true wisdom, the true knowledge of a God of all knowing. A God who is more than able, always willing. We as people sometimes are able but not always willing to help another. But Lord, we pray and we give you glory for who you are, for you are not a man that thou shalt lie. And you have promised us thy kingdom that we may walk in, not by our own works, Lord God, but by the gift of God, the true blessing. Grateful we are here today, Lord God, not standing on our own, but standing on you, Lord God, for you are the foundation for which we stand. Lord, I am grateful here today, made to love you, made to, to do those things, to glorify you. Thank you for knowing the truth and the revelation that revealed unto us all through the Holy Spirit, the true teacher of our faith, that brought us forth, Lord God. Thank you. Thank you for blessing the sick and the shut in, Lord God. Thank you for blessing Union Baptist Temple in a mighty, mighty way. Lord God, I thank you for my pastor, the under-shepherd of this church. Lord God, I thank you for his dedication, Lord God, knowing that it's not him, but he who dwelleth within him brought him forth, Lord God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord God, that I'm under his tutelage. Lord, I'm grateful here today to know all the ministers, all the people under the sound of my voice, grateful here for all the gift of persons of Union Baptist Temple, my church family, Lord God and all those throughout your kingdom, for we are one body, one body in Christ. Let that be of us all, Lord God. For Ephesians six twelve tells us we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So let us be forgiving. Let our hearts be right with you, Lord God. Let us hold no ill wills towards no man, Lord God, for we're fighting something we cannot see. Let the truth set us free, for who is free from sin is free indeed, Lord God. No bonds of holding us. We are no longer bound but free, Lord God. Let us stand and believe on that which you have said unto us, Lord God, and believe in your word. Not just speak it, but live it. Have faith in it, trust it. Lord God, for you love us all. Grateful I am, Lord God. And I pray that this prayer reach some lost soul, Lord God. That they will trust in you today. That they will come forth and acknowledge you and, and just give you an opportunity, Lord God. Because I know if they trust in you, Lord God, you, you will make it all well with them, Lord God. All well with their heart, their souls. Fill them and renew their mind. Lord, I thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your holy and righteous name I pray. And all those who agree with me, say amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Nobody, nobody great. 
somebody greater than you. So one more time, nobody greater. Nobody greater. Nobody greater. Nobody greater than you. Amen. How many believe we serve an awesome God? That'd be okay if he was just an all right God. But how many believe we serve an awesome God? All right. Why don't you join us to sing this song? Sing, My God is awesome. My God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. Sing, My God is awesome. My God is awesome. He heals me when I'm broken. Strength where I've been weakened. Forever he will reign. And we're going to sing that again. Everybody sing, my God is awesome. My God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. Sing, my God is awesome. My God is awesome. I 
God is awesome. My God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. My God. Sunday morning. Yeah. Yeah. Because on Sunday morning, we who he has delivered uh-huh. turn our attention back to him uh-huh. and experience the awesome. Mm-hmm. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, in Jesus' name, we thank you for our care and keeping. We thank you for this day. And we thank you for the opportunity to be a blessing to someone else. In this offering, which we offer in Jesus' name, we thank you for receiving from us. Amen.
Good morning, Saints. Good morning. It's now time for our announcements. Pastor Bay will be preaching at First Baptist Church of Whitesboro, New Jersey on Sunday, August the 27th at 3.30 p.m. We, oh, what did I say? What did I say? I'll read it again. Pastor Bay will be preaching at First Baptist Church of Whitesboro, New Jersey on Sunday, August the 27th. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> on October the 27th at 3.30 p.m. Excuse me. We ask the congregation and choir to come along. Dinner will be served. All that are planning to attend must sign up in the vestibule. If you are in need of transportation, please place a T as in Tom next to your name. This is the last for the sign-ups. Attention all men of Union Baptist Temple. There will be a meeting held on Monday, October the 21st at 6.30 p.m. to elect new officers for the upcoming years. All are encouraged to attend. Thank you, the men's ministry. The Bell Chime Choir rehearsals have been canceled for the month of October. will resume November the 5th at 5.30 p.m. The women's ministry would like to invite all women to be a part of the Secret Sisters. If you would like to participate, the forms are located in the vestibule. There will be a Board of Education meeting Wednesday, October the 23rd at 5.30 p.m. Male course rehearsal will be Friday at 6.30 p.m. The radio and tape ministry Attention, as this ministry continues to expand with technology growth, we are in need of help with the web casting technology. We are asking anyone in the IT, information technology profession, to help with the church website casting. Union Baptist Temple Christmas Fellowship will be held at the Blue Heron Pines 550 Country Club Drive in A Harbor, says A Harbor City, New Jersey, Saturday, December the 21st at 2:30 p.m. And they will be serving the classic buffet. Adults are $35, children 12 and under 17.50. Deposits can be made in the amount of $15 for adults and $7.50 for children. The balance must be paid by Sunday, December the 8th. No monies will be accepted after this date. Join us for a blessed, fun-filled event. There will be games and door prizes. Limited transportation will be provided. For more information, please see one of our ministry leaders, Minister Birch, Deborah Birch, Deaconess Patrice Baines, Sister Dolores Bailey, Sister Ruth Dangerfield, Brother Darrell Edmonds, Minister Michael Bailey, Brother Tramel Timberlake, First Lady Karen Bay, or Deaconess Terry Timberlake, and Sister Shirley Buster. The Men's Ministry of Union Baptist Temple will be having a tailgate party on Sunday, October the 20th at the Timberlake Residence, 141 Wellington Avenue in Pleasantville immediately following the 11 a.m. service, where the Eagles will lose to the Cowboys. Everyone is welcome. Anyone wishing to donate anything for the party, please see Deacon Melvin Timberlake or Brother Tremel Timberlake. Amen? Atlantic City Department of Health and Human Services uh, will be announced free flu shots. They will be Tuesday, October the 22nd from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. at the Jeffrey Towers. And then again on Monday, October 28th at the Stanley Holmes Village Community Room. And also on Thursday, October 31st, Atlantic City Townhouse. And for more information, they leave a number that you can check with the office. Those are our announcements. Please remember those that cannot make it to church, send a card, make a phone call, or a physical visit. Have a blessed week. Amen. Amen.
Good morning again. Um, first standing to say that our own Deacon Tweedle last Sunday did an excellent job. In support of him, they tell us that laugh is good for the soul. So if laugh is good for the soul, you know he brought plenty up. Amen? <laughs> but on the whole, he did really well. And grateful for the support that he had uh, with our deaconess and, uh, and some deacons. And he did invite himself on to the other people's choir, too. Because he just liked singing. So we, we actually had a very good time there. And uh, we're so grateful that God has, has allowed him to participate in the community, representing our church very well. Also on this afternoon, I will be participating in a spiritual cake walk at Mount Calvary Baptist Church, and that's in Mullica Hill, New Jersey. I do have a copy of the direction that I will post in the vestibule. Amen? Amen. Amen. Good morning again. At this time, we'd like to celebrate with anyone who's had a birthday or an anniversary. Please stand. Praise the Lord. If no birthdays or anniversaries to be celebrated, at this time, we'd like to recognize anyone who's visiting with us. Would you please stand, tell us who you are and where you're visiting us from. Praise the Lord. On behalf of Pastor Bay and Sister Karen Bay, his wife, and the board of members of this church, we're glad to have you here. We thank you for your presence. We hope you come again. Amen.
sing, I've been changed. I've been changed. Sing, healed. Free. Delivered. Sing, all my shame. forgiven good morning Good morning. Good morning. Amen. Amen. I can tell it's a good morning because I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> you ought to be able to tell uh, the same way. And we're grateful to God to be gathered together once again uh, in his sanctuary and in the presence of his people. Uh, that some of the best people in the world. Amen. Our God's people and belong to the Lord, and it's good to be in godly company. Um, Reverend, Reverend Giles made some very poignant observations in his uh, preparation for receiving the benevolent offering. He spoke about what a gift Sunday is, uh, when all week long our ears and our attention had been being beaten by the world, yes. and we've been concerned with things of the world, that God calls us, God calls us on Sunday, renews us, restores us, so that we're able to go back and minister in the world. We're grateful for that. Also, I want to thank God for those who covered the pulpit on last Sunday. Um, brother. Brother Whitaker and Sister Lois. Uh, and uh, I trust that uh, if you were satisfied and you were pleased with their presentations, Amen. and that you would, uh, you know, you let them know. Uh, and if you weren't, well, follow mother's advice. Uh, if you can't say anything nice. <laughs> Amen. And don't, don't say anything at all. Uh, and the, the message will be conveyed either way. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And also of the bondwoman, also of the son of the bondwoman, will I make a nation, for he also is of thy seed. Of the bondwoman also, of the son of the bondwoman, will I make a nation, seeing that he is thy seed. I want to talk about the also blessed. The also blessed. Um, we're, some of us are blessed and we know that we are blessed. And amen. And we consider ourselves deservant of those blessings. But if it were up to us, we would deprive others of receiving the blessing. And so I just want to bring into the light for just a moment or two the also blessed. Now, um, there is general agreement among Jew and among Arab, that uh, they share in Abraham a common ancestor. Uh, without that's that's pretty much a fact. Without contra, without controversy, without dispute, uh, that they share in Abraham, Jew and Jew and, and uh, Arab, Arab and Israeli, if you please. They share in Abraham a common 
ancestor. Both claim Abraham as father. Now, while that is a uh, well-received fact, um, there is less clarity and less agreement on the point of who is the legitimate heir and successor of Abraham. Uh, who is the uh, true heir and successor of Abraham? Is it the Jew or is it the Arab? The Arabs posit that they are the rightful heirs of Abraham as the firstborn of Abraham, that through Sarah, uh, through Ishmael, that uh, she, uh, that, that they are rightly the heirs. Because the, they say that the question is not, the question is not really who is uh, a son of, uh, a, a son of Abraham. That's, that, that's, that's clear, but both are sons of Abraham. But who holds the deed? Who holds the deed to the promised land? Uh, uh, to, to, whom, to whom did the property uh, and, and the uh, prosperity uh, and all of the things that God, or the blessings wherewith God blessed Abraham, to whom, to whom were they passed upon Abraham's death? Is the Jew or the Arab? the legitimate heir and successor of Abraham. Uh, in the text, in the text, it is clear uh, that God uh, blessed uh, Abraham. Uh, uh, he, blessed, he blessed Abraham and he promised to bless through Abraham and through Abraham's seed to bless the whole world. Uh, but the continuity of those blessings, the continuity of the blessings that, it, that was Abraham's comes through one of these two sons, either Abraham or uh, either of Ishmael or, or Isaac. Uh, and our text looks, focuses on um, God's sovereignty, that the sovereignty that God exercised when he bestows gifts. Uh, uh, the, the, the Bible doesn't want us to miss that point uh, that God blesses uh, and, and he also blesses. Uh, but he exercises uh, sovereignty and freedom in who he blessed, how he blessed them, when he blessed them, and what he blessed them with. Amen. Amen. And we ought not to think that just because God uh, doesn't, doesn't bless us in the way in which he blesses somebody else, uh, but, but, that we have not been blessed. And, and neither should we assume that the other party have not been blessed because God blessed us and all of his blessings somehow accrue to us. Uh, and, so, uh, and so there is this... Uh, there is this concentration of the text upon the uh, sovereignty with which God blesses uh, and who he blesses. Uh, after many years of waiting, following God's promise, Abraham uh, and Sarah have a son. Uh, the, as God said, at the time that God said, that he would bless them with a son, uh, God came through on all of his promises. Of the promise to uh, make of Abram a great nation, uh, uh, Isaac was regarded as one, uh, as the start uh, of that family branch uh, through which God would bless not only Israel, uh, but he would bless the whole world. Uh, I will bless them that bless thee. Uh, and in, 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 uh, in thee and in thy kindred shall all of the nations of the earth be blessed. That, that promise uh, began to be fulfilled in Abraham and was continued through Abraham's seed, through Isaac, uh, uh, through Isaac and through Ishmael. 
uh, God begins to fulfill that promise of a pop of a great pop, a great people, uh, a great and numerous people, uh, a people of world renown. Uh, how how does it happen? Well, God uh, gives to Sarah uh, and to Abraham uh, a son. Uh, after they had uh, uh, gone ahead, try to, uh, to get ahead of God, uh, and uh, 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 Abraham had taken to uh, to his to, to as his concubine, uh, had taken Hagar the Egyptian, uh, and after Ishmael had been born, finally, finally, uh, the time came for the fulfillment of God's promise to Abraham and Sarah that Abraham would have an heir of his own, uh, of his own body. That, that day came around and the promise was paid in a son whom Abraham named Isaac. Now, uh, 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 pr prior to this, some 14 years prior to this, uh, according to the Bible, uh, uh, Hagar, the Egyptian, had given birth to a son that was Abraham's. Amen. Now, now, uh, Abraham, uh, the, uh, Ishmael, is the firstborn. He was born, he had the priority of birth. The priority of being born first. And uh, the, the right of the firstborn uh, was his. Uh, that, uh, the, the firstborn was, was the legitimate heir and successor of the father. He, he was the one to whom the lion's share of what the father had accumulated uh, was bestowed. Uh, uh, he, he, he was the one that, uh, who was uh, picked to carry on uh, in continuity uh, and to receive the blessings that God had promised to Abraham. And so the Arabs say that Ishmael is that firstborn son, therefore he is the legitimate heir of the promises. Uh, on the other hand, on the other hand, uh, the Jewish people are able to point out that uh, there, is, there are numerous incidents in the word of God where the right of firstborn uh, is administered by God and, and, by, and that the one who is chosen to carry on the line and to carry on the blessings are not necessarily the firstborn, that not always the elder, sometimes God chooses the younger. Uh, God, God chooses the younger uh, to be heir and successor. Uh, and we need only, we need only to, to go back uh, a few chapters here to the, to the beginning, uh, to, the, to, Adam, to the sons of Adam and Eve, uh, Cain and Abel. Uh, and right away we begin to see that God does not always and God is not bound. To choose the elder over the younger. That, that, that might be a law binding upon men, but it is not so uh, where God is concerned. That God sometimes chooses the younger, amen, over the elder. Uh, God had respect unto the offering of Abel, but to Cain, God had not respect for his offering. In the womb, in the womb, Jacob and Esau struggled in the womb. Uh, but God said that uh, Jacob have I loved, uh, Esau have I hated. Uh, God chose, before they came into the world or did anything, before, before any argument about who was first ensued, God chose the younger and said the, young, the elder shall serve the younger. Yeah. Amen. So, so it, it doesn't always automatically uh, uh, apply that the elder, that the elder succeeds, that, that the younger, that he precedes the younger in the distribution of blessings. In, in the case of Esau and Jacob, uh, uh, Jacob the trickster, amen. If we'd have looked at the, if we'd have looked at the credentials of the two, 
It would seem uh, that, uh, that uh, God would have chosen Esau, uh, but, 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 but he chose Jacob instead. Jacob, the trickster, uh, defrauded his, 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 his brother out of the birthright, out of the right of the firstborn. Uh, it became, it became uh, Jacob's uh, through his manipulation, uh, uh, amen, and his outwitting his elder brother. Uh, we, we would think that uh, if, God would, if God was a play fair God, that he would not have permitted the slower Esau to be defrauded out of his birthright. But God, when he looked at him, saw who valued the birthright the most. Esau said, what good is the birthright? What good is the birthright if I die of hunger? I swap you birthright for beans. Give me some of them beans you got there in the pot, uh, and, and I'll give you the birthright. Uh, so God recognized and God knew that Jacob uh, valued the birthright and the promises more than Esau. So God doesn't always autom and automatically give to the elder uh, the blessings. Amen. Sometimes he gives them to the younger. The Jews, uh, the, the, the Arabs claim that uh, the birthright is theirs by virtue of priority of birth. But the, but the Israelis say, the Israelites say, that, um, that uh, the, the, the birthright and the blessings belong to uh, Isaac because he is a son of promise. He is a son of promise. Uh, Ishmael is a son, is a son of a, of a desire, uh, of a certain lack of trust in God. Uh, it, it is the consequences of, of us trying to uh, help God out uh, in some way. Uh, and, and that's always, uh, always uh, uh, a problem when we try and do what only God, amen, can do. Uh, 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 n n n note, note that uh, the chapter 21 begins by saying that, that, that Sarah had a son at the time that God said, amen, uh, uh, and, and at, at, not only at the time, but in the time of her life when, when, all, every, when biology, amen, when, when, when the, the, the hard facts of, bi of biology, uh, the stubborn facts of biology, uh, deemed it impossible that she would, uh, they would have a son. Uh, yet, when, 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 it, when everything seemed lost, and, uh, and, and, and uh, Abraham was looking to other quarters, then it is that God brought... Uh, uh, him into the world, Isaac into the world, to say unequivocally that this only comes by the power of God and not by the desire or the ingenuity of men. So, so God, God blesses, God blesses Isaac and uh, Ishmael uh, is exposed and his mother Hagar are expelled. They are expelled from the household and they are driven into the desert. Uh, in the desert, uh, in the desert when the water has run out and the meager supplies of food have been exhausted. Uh, in the desert of Beersheba with the sun beating down upon, uh, upon them. Uh, here they are, this young son, uh, rejected, put out by the word of Sarah. Uh, there they are in the desert with uh, no hopes of, uh, of, uh, of, of survival. Uh, 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 perhaps because she was an Egyptian. Uh, his mother sets her face towards Egypt and uh, she uh, presses her way uh, through the wilderness. 
uh, somewhere near the borders of Egypt. Uh, the water ran out. So, somewhere near the border of the land of Ham. Uh, 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 the bread ran out. Uh, and she cried. She left the boy there in a place uh, at, because she didn't want to see him die. The buzzards were already circling in the air. Amen. Uh, and and uh, the, the, the boy was as good as dead. The child was as good as dead. He cried out a whimper in hunger. Uh, uh, but, but the Lord, and the Lord heard his cry. And the Lord heard his cry. Uh, it's mighty nice to know uh, that there is a God who sits high and who looks low. Uh, and who hears the cry of his people. Uh, just as he said to another generation of believers, I have surely heard the cry of my people which are in Egypt. God hears our cry. Fanny Crosby said, Pass me not, O gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Savior! Savior! Hear my humble cry. She cried, and the Lord heard her cry. God spoke to her and said, uh, God, and said, uh, Fear not. Uh, God, God, God said, don't, 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 don't be worried or concerned uh, that uh, I, I, I've blessed Isaac and I've also blessed Ishmael. I will make of him also a great nation because he is of thy seed. Listen, uh, uh, Jacob, no better, uh, Isaac, no better than Ishmael. No better than Ishmael. Neither one received the blessings. Neither one received the promises by virtue or by merit of some work that they had done. It is simply the sovereign act and decision of God. Amen. And what do we do then? What do we do then with an Ishmael? We recognize that they are also blessed. Amen. Today, even to this day, uh, to this day there is hostility, and even bloodshed between Arab and Jew. The conflict still continues. The dispute still rages. Uh, and uh, the Bible, the Bible so accurately predict um, the uh, the character uh, of the clans, of the uh, family, the line of Ishmael. Uh, says in chapter 16 that he shall be a wild man. He shall be a wild man, uh, untamed. Uh, he, he shall be one that will be a in-your-face character. In the presence of, he will live high-handedly in the presence of his of his, uh, of his brothers. He will raid their territory. He will raid their lands. Uh, 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 that, 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 that's, that, that's who he is. That, that, that's what he does. Uh, and yet he has been blessed by God. He, he, also, he also is a nation blessed of the Lord. And when, uh, when, when we encounter, when we encounter uh, the also blessed, uh, we can't just write them off. Uh, they can't, we can't just write them off. The blessings of God are without recall. God doesn't, uh, amen, bless and then take away, promise blessings and then take away his blessings. So because they are, all we can do is, if we want to do the right thing, is to pray for them. Amen. amen. Pray for them. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Amen. They shall prosper that love thee. Uh, 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 how, how good uh, it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. We pray for, pray for those who despitefully use you.
but who are nonetheless blessed by the Lord. Amen. They recognize that they also are blessed. Saul chased David all over God's creation, just about, desiring to kill him. And when David had the opportunity to end it all and to kill Saul, he would not do so, for he would not stretch out his hand, as he said, against the Lord's anointed. Against the Lord's anointed. So here is the sum. Uh, God blesses who he will, amen, when he will, in whatever way that he, amen. Uh, he exercises, he exercises full and free sovereignty uh, in who he blesses. Uh, and recognize that, uh, that because God blesses one does not mean that he has not blessed the other. Because he calls or chooses one does not mean that he has rejected another. We can't see far enough down the road, my brothers and sisters. We can't see far enough down the road or around the bend to know how God will use that one whom we may have regarded as the black sheep of the family, as not, not, not worthy, not deserving. What, what, you think? You deserving? You, you think you're worthy? You think you're deserving? Uh, and the other is not? Uh, God exercises freedom, sovereignty in who and how he blessed. See Jesus. See Jesus and his disciples. At one following his resurrection on the shores there uh, of the sea and uh, the Lake of Galilee. And uh, Peter uh, says to the Lord, or the Lord says to P Peter, says what Jesus describes for Peter what his fate will be. When you were, when you were a young man, Peter, you went wherever you would. But now that you are old, when you are old, they will gird you and take you where you don't want to go. And Peter received that, but he looked at John and saying, what about this man? What, 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 what about this one? And Jesus said to him, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what is it? What, if, if I choose that he tarry until I come, what is that to you? You, you follow me. That's all right. Don't, 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 don't put your eye on him. You, you follow me. Amen. Uh, Paul, Paul declared that the apostles he thought were the last, the offscouring of the world. Fools for Christ's sake. Received less than anybody. But he says that it wasn't his business. Wasn't his business. Uh, amen. To try and determine how God and should and who God should bless. But that God in his freedom does that. And he does it like nobody else can do. Uh, he knows just what we need uh, when we need it. Amen. And he knows how to bless us. And so uh, I, I'm content. I'm content to leave it in God's hand. Any way, any way, he blesses is all right with me. Amen. I, I, if I were doing it myself, I might leave something off the list. Something that I really need. Uh, amen. Uh, I'm glad that uh, he knows. He, he knows. It said that, that uh, he saw Esau in his plight, in his present condition. He saw, that, that is, he saw uh, Ishmael in his plight, in his present condition. What he needed right then was some water. <laughs> well, what he needed right uh, he needed some water. And God showed him a well. 
uh, God opened their eyes. God opened the eyes of his mother, Hagar, so that she saw the well. The well was there the whole time they were grieving, and, but didn't see it. Too, too, too uh, eaten up, too, too, too much in the grasp and grip, right, of the circumstances that she couldn't see the solution was right there, a few feet away. Uh, amen. There was the water that could satisfy the thirst and prolong the life of the young man. How much of divine resource do we miss? Do we miss in our myopic state of not being able to see the resources that God has provided? Lord prayed the prophet, open the young man's eyes that he may see. Uh, we got a sight problem. Amen. We so, so focused on, <laughs> amen. Trying to keep somebody else from get. Had an old dog on the farm. Had an old dog crawl up in the manger. Now the dog didn't eat no hay. Dog, amen. He know that the, the hay is for the cow. But if I can't eat it, amen. If he don't give it to me, see that I don't give it to anybody. Uh, he also, he also <laughs> is a son of Abraham. She also, wasn't it proper that we should release her from her suffering on the Sabbath, seeing that she also is a son of Abraham. Um, and then recognize finally that we belong to the group of the also. Amen. Amen. Pa Paul said we were strangers to the covenants of promise. Uh, amen. Aliens for the commonwealth of Israel. We, we didn't have any expectation of an inheritance. Strangers to the saints. Uh, but now, amen, that's a used to be, that's the group we used to be. Now we are a son. Now we are a son with full hereditary rights. Amen. The promises of Israel belong also to us. We are the also blessed. Amen. Jesus came. Amen. To save, to seek, and to save that which was lost. And that, that was just what we needed. That's just who we were. It's, it's what we were and what we do. And Christ saved us. I'm glad that he doesn't just, amen. He doesn't just bless the firstborn because we missed that train. Amen. But thank God he also blesses. We stand. My father is rich in how and land he holds the wealth of the world in rubies and diamonds and silver and gold Riches untold. I'm a child of the king. I'm a child of the king. With Jesus, my Savior, I'm a child of the king. How about you, my friend? Are you a child of the king? Have you claimed your inheritance in Christ? 
they offer the pardon full and free for our sins and the reward of eternal life and the gift of the Holy Spirit those that gifts that God bestows upon those who come to him if you've never made a decision for Christ but you've been meaning to you want to why don't you make that decision this morning as you hear the word ringing in your ear and perhaps in your heart won't you take Christ as Savior and if you will make that decision are you not ashamed to walk out of, to move out of a place where you're standing and come to the front and say I want to claim Christ as my Savior I want to make this public acknowledgement that I've taken Jesus as my Savior will you come today if you're here situation and therefore give glory and honor to your name and give you license to move in the earth because you have ordained that we the children of men would have dominion responsibility for this earth that we live in so if we choose to use your words about the situations in our lives, our eyes can be open to see the wells of blessing that you have already placed in front of us. And so we thank you for the opportunity to give into an offering. We thank you that this is blessed, and we thank you that because of Jesus, this was all made possible. Amen. Thank you. 
This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. You have money. No, what 